Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. What's up everyone and welcome back to your Muslim Pro Tips. I'm Mark Anthony and this is my really, 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 really good friend AU. He's going to be joining us today and he's going to be helping us out with our Muslim Pro Tip. Assalamu alaikum. <clears throat> so today I'll be talking about dress uh, and specifically for men. So some people may think that you need to wear a thobe or a shemag or some, or, you know, um, Arab looking dress and stuff like that. You know, this isn't um, a requirement. It's not necessarily even uh, people don't come in and encourage you to wear it. You know, it's just optional. It's personal preference. Yeah. So a thobe is something like this. You know, they look like these long dresses. Um, you you know you'll see people wear these as well. Even if they're a guy, they wear these. Uh, they also also wear like little kufis, like little hats that they might wear in their hat. And again, as Ayub's saying, is that's not. That's not uh, anything you have to wear in order to come to the masjid at all, okay? So a couple of pointers when you do come to the masjid, you know, for example, um, first, for example, first wear a shirt that isn't going to get untucked when you go into the bowing. That way if somebody's praying behind you and you go and you bow down, they don't see your back, you know, exposed. Yeah, you don't you don't want to show off your underwear or your bag. Believe yes. me, you don't want to do that. <laughs> believe me. Yeah. Yes, I, I I've definitely done that a few times. Um, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> same here. I had like a shir uh, shirt that went up to like my waistline, and yeah, you, you want it a little lower than your waistline because again, when you go down to bow, I mean your shirt just naturally comes up, and there's people praying behind you. So yeah, um, uh, don't worry. Law is law is all forgiving. <laughs> <laughs> a second one is um, wear generally loose. Clothing. Don't wear something that's tight. You know, don't wear a muscle shirt, tank top type of thing. You know, if I had muscles, you know, I had to show off. You know, I wouldn't want. You know, I'm not going to the masjid to show them off. I'm just going to the masjid to, you know, remember Allah as well, Joe. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, loose clothing, um, not really bagging. I mean, the really the thing that I want you to think about is just you know, dress more conservative. And um, when you dress, dress you know one comfortably. You don't have to come in a suit and tie or anything, right? But dress comfortably because you are going to be sitting down. Um, you are going to be moving in positions as far as like when you're praying and bowing. So nothing too tight. But again, you you also want to you know nothing that's disrespectful. Um, you wouldn't wear you know try not to wear anything like you know short shorts and a tank top. You know wear wear you know some pants, some longer pants. Um, you know a good you know a good shirt. You know just make sure you're going you're coming to the house of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. And so when you come to the house of God, you know. Allah will take you any way you are, but it should be on you to show, you know, try and show the respect that you can uh, when you come to the masjid. Very well said. So uh, a third one is, you know, when it comes to your pants, wear something that's a bit longer and that's loose as well. Um, you don't want, like you said, you don't want anything really, really high up. Um, <clears throat> and wear something that's not necessarily when you're sitting. It's not going to like catch your knees or anything like that. So make sure that you can you can do this sit the different positions in your prayer. Yeah. So you know, in short, you know, you can come. You know, anything that you want to wear. Um, wear something respectful. Maybe something a little bit longer. You're going to be moving around. Um, but you know, just come to the masjid. You know, if anything, you know, make sure you come to the masjid. Um, like I said. Your dress does not determine your Islam. Um, it, you know, you don't have to wear this on your head. Um, you know, I'm speaking from a guy's perspective. You don't have to wear, you know, these things called thobes or anything like that to be a Muslim. You're a Muslim in your heart and in your intentions. So um, that's um, it's really basically it. Anything else you want to say to you? Uh, that should probably cover it all. All right. So inshallah, if you, uh, we'll see you guys at the masjid. And uh, make sure you, uh, somewhere around here, there'll be a button to subscribe. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, like us, and share it with any other new Muslims or anybody that you think this might be uh, helpful for. Um, until next time, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Assalamu alaikum.